Hello and welcome to my haunted pumpkin patch. Today we're playing 10 indie horror games I found on itch.io. All I did was scroll through like a thousand games and pick 10 thumbnails that looked kind of cool. So I have no idea what kind of frightful games we're about to experience. Except for the fact that I streamed them all like a week ago and also this video is going up like two days after Halloween so the video is already irrelevant before I even post it. Woo! The first one is called Cargo Demo. Okay, looking like uh, maybe a Dead Space inspired game. It's got future soldier guys. They're probably on some kind of spaceship. Let's see. In a world where NPCs can only interact by saying, pick up that can. Pick up that can. Pick up that can. Pick up that can. Pick up Pick up that can. Pick up that can. Okay, pick up that can. Pick up that can. It's a giant blob. Can I kill it? Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh, something's coming. It's a guy with a TV for a head. Oh, God, it's a commentary on how technology is ruining our modern society. Kill it. Ah! I refuse to acknowledge my addiction to watching YouTube videos and browsing Reddit. Oh, I'm safe. Cargo. That was the whole game. All right, cargo review. It's like playing the entire game of Dead Space, but in two minutes. And now we have slide in the woods. Press escape to change sensitivity. Oh my god, they have FOV and sensitivity and volume for a game where you ride a slide? Holy crap. Indie developers, even if I don't like your game, I will love you forever if you put a volume slider. The FOV is the cherry on top. All right, here we go. Yay. You can't just ride the slide one time. You got to keep it going. It got a little bit darker that time. Oh, there's blood on the stairs. And there's a guy. Push him down. Push him down the chute. Oh, there's a monster in the slide. Wah! Well, that's what we get for building a slide inside of the Slender Man forest. Let's go. Where's the monster? Give me the monster. Oh, it kept going. It's still going. We're going to a weird new dimension. Whoa, it's getting kind of fast. When will we ever reach the bottom? There's the bottom. I can see it. We are now inside of... Oh, we're still falling. This really is a long slide. There we go. Where are we? Oh, man. I gotta climb all the way back up. I slid for like five minutes. Okay, here we go. This is gonna take a while, I think. Oh, it was an altar. The slide was an altar for the ancient Aztecs the whole time, of course. Oh, oh no. It's Andros. It's chasing me down the slide. Leave me alone, Andros. The only time I want to see you is in a new Star Fox game. Ooh, a new area. We have a red pipe. And that's it. So into the red pipe. Oh, it's the slide from the beginning. And that's going to put me in the playground, right? Yeah, okay. All right, not bad. Oh, the slide vanished. And the game vanished. Slide in the woods. Not bad. Next up, we have Employee of the Month. Oh, it has settings? It has a volume control. Okay, this is the best game. Something's come up. Would you mind taking the late shift tonight? Ah, oh, it's horrible. It's too realistic. Turn it off. Thanks. Turn it off. I need screens around the place in case anybody actually swings. Okay, by. so it's five nights at the grocery store. Understood. Oh, look, there's somebody moving around on the monitor, and it says 6413 as well. So I got a cool code. And also, there's a guy in the store trying to kill me. All right. Clean up on aisle. Die. I did it. Toilet paper restocked. I'm a great employee. Put the milk into the thing. Just restock the milk. This is not the milk. This is a field. Watching a 144p stream be like, am I right? Haha. -ha. He's right there. And then there's like a ghost guy right there as well. Leave me alone. I just want to clean up the spill. Oh my god. Oh, we're in a new area. What is this? Oh, there he is. Ah, don't crunch my bones. You have dies in real life. Ah, employee of the month. That was the game. All right. I give it an A plus gold star employee of the month rating. Up next is MrClean.exe. It's Mr. Clean in a liminal space. What more could you want out of a video game? How do I move? Can I move? I appear to be stuck on a mattress and the camera is not correct. Um... Welp. The next game is called Never Open the Door. The doll, the doll, it is changing and moving by itself. It's killing people. Last night it asked me to sacrifice seven souls. Why would grandma do this? This is definitely not her. Grandma. We've been over this, grandma. You can't keep sacrificing souls. <gasps> There's the ghost. Come here. 
I'm like, ah, oh, it disappeared. I gotta watch a movie and unwind. This is the single most accurate representation of Strong Sad's independent film I've ever seen. Strong Sad names his movie by picking a few boring words from the middle of a boring sentence and makes his own soundtrack by weeping softly into the wrong end of a saxophone. Time for the test of a good video game. Does the hand scrawled message on the wall have unique letters or is it a font? That E is the same as that E. Okay, it's a font. Minus five points. My head is hurting by this voice. I can't take this any longer. Help me, anyone. I am innocent. Please don't kill me. <laughs> PLZ, don't kill me. Here comes the zombie. Is it going to have an attack animation or just going to stand there? It disappeared. Is it going to be right behind me? Where am I? Was it all a dream? Oh, come on, no. It was not all just a dream. I know that stock news footage. I've downloaded that for use in the school project before. What? No fucking regrets. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is incredible. A great game. Oh my god. The ending saved it. The ending saved it. Okay, review of Never Open the Door. Pretty bad game, except with the caveat that it is actually the best game I've ever played in my entire life. Next up is Fear Tapes Game Show. Windows says don't run this EXE. That's pretty scary. I'm going to run it anyway, though. Welcome to Room 1, a classic game of chance. The Gotta go right, go right, go right. What happened? I killed a mannequin. Oh, no, kill the guy. There's a guy in this one, right? Oh, I can't kill him? Lame. All right, you have to pick a cage to survive a giant monster. You gotta go green, right? Green's just a good color all around. Let's go. Always oh, very loud. Turn turn down the monster. Turn the volume down a little bit. Lucky, 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 lucky. My eardrums weren't lucky. All right, this is a maze. If you're going to a maze, pick one wall and stick to it for the whole time. Left or right? Eh, left would have killed the guy last time, so we're going left. Ah, I wonder what the next one will be. Will it be a skull or like a zombie, maybe? Still a skull. You've been a great contestant, Carter. Thank you. Goodbye. See ya. When he said goodbye, he probably meant he's gonna kill me, right? Everything turned black. And... There's some saws, yep. Next up, we have Dying of Thirst. Do you guys have these red cups in other countries that are not the United States of America? Because I always see people saying, oh, those are like the American movie cups, right? Do you not have these? They are a great size to store beverages in. And the best part is after you drink one thing of juice out of it, you can just throw it into a landfill forever. Is there a guy out here? He has a guy out there. There he is. Hey, man. And turn the light on. Hey. Hey, you. Oh, my light's off. Crap. Oh, there he is. I think I saw him by the sink. He did the party basement trick. <laughs> he did. Oh no. Please no, don't take me to Camino and clone me. And it's done. The next game is called No Sidewalks in the Mushroom Kingdom. It had Mario on it, so of course I clicked download. Will it be good? Who knows? Ah, here we are in Mario Kart. It appears my car broke down. I guess. Not to worry. I'll simply grab a banana peel and be on my way. You can't use the item box. Come on. Really? I think I'm playing as a Mario without any arms right now. You can tell from the shadow. I look like a Keebler elf cookie. Or an Among Us for our younger viewers. Wouldn't a Mario horror game just be Luigi's Mansion? No, it's this. See, it had a weird sound. Pretty scary. Advanced globalization, perhaps nodded by titles such as Mario World, it is predicted that the air flight is seen in Mario Sunshine and Mario is missing and the distribution of uniformly manufactured blocks, road signs, what? I did it. I completed the lap. Is it over? That's it. That was the whole game. All right. Okay, this game is called Fusion Demo. It's a demo for a game called Fusion, I'm assuming. So we back in the mine, swinging our pickaxes from side to side, side, side to side. It's a red guy. He's got a lot of health. Oh no, don't let him hit you. 
Okay, there we go. Sorry, lady. My protocol says you must die. Wait, no, robot, don't die. That'd be a real horror twist, but nah. We'll fight zombies instead. I'm running low on health. Oh, no, another zombie. What the? E? You died. Okay. Let's just go to the demo arena. That sounds more fun than the real game. What, we got shotgun? Oh, dude, they should have given me the shotgun for the real game. Why did they not give me the shotgun in the real game? They might have. I just got bored before I got to it. Let's see how it is. Is it cool? Eh. Gravity gun. It lifts them into the air. And then you can just drop them from a short height. You can't really, like, shoot them. I'm the father who just got home from work. And my kids are running out to see me. Daddy! I'm like, oh, hello, children. Hi, how's it going? I grab and pick him up. <laughs> oh, my God. Timmy, no. Daddy, stop spinning me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Last but certainly not least is the baby in yellow. Come here, you stupid baby in yellow. I know you're like hashed her in disguise, whatever that guy's name is. You're a Lovecraftian being. You can't fool me. Oh, he is kind of cute, though. Here you go, baby. Oh, he's happy. Oh, no, he made it all stinky. I got to put a new diaper on you. I'm going to throw you down the stairs. <laughs> Goodbye. Big head mode unlocked? Activate it. Activate big head mode. How do I turn it on immediately? Oh, he's a little bumblebee now, and his head grew a lot. Hello, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look how large his face is. Stay there. I'm going to put you to bed. I want to watch Twin Peaks, okay? Be quiet. Hey, it's the room with the yellow wallpaper. Hurry, get out of here before the English teacher makes us read it. Whoa, place the train. Oh, it goes on the track? Dude, this is so much fun. <laughs> Playing with, like, toddler toys is really exciting. Oh, look, it's a little cultist plushie. Oh, baby. I got your cultist. Do you want to make a blood sacrifice, huh? You want to make a little blood sacrifice? All right, now don't move while I pick up the diaper. Don't even think about it. I'm going to look away. Pick it up. I'm not, what did I just say? Baby, no. Good night. I hope you enjoyed these 10 terrifying titles. I'll see you next time for 10 Thanksgiving themed games. I'd be shocked if there's more than like six of those. Strong side is on the independent film side. He's the lifer artist type who went to film school. I minored in holding on wide shots for too long.